Hey guys, Dan McGuire here. Today I'm in Banff. Uh, I'm doing something I've wanted to do for probably 10 years, ever since I moved here. Um, I'm riding my bike from Banff to Jasper. Uh, it's about 300 kilometers, so I'm gonna do it over two days, stop in Saskatchewan Crossing across the way. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys along for the trip. Okay, part one, Bow Valley Parkway to Lake Louise. Right. made it to Lake Louise. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a bit of a extra credit and ride up to the lake to have my lunch. It's gonna add a little bit of uh, a lot of climbing, but I think it's gonna be worth it. All right, made it to Lake Louise, which was a massive climb, probably against my better judgment on a holiday long weekend, but I think it was definitely worth it. Okay, fueled up. Next stop, Icefields Parkway, Bow, Bow Lake, and, uh, and Pato Lake. So it's gonna be a tough afternoon. It's definitely getting hot out. So far on the 93, it's like, feels like just one huge climb and we're not even at Bow Summit yet. <laughs> Time for a much needed rest and a reapplication of sunscreen. I'm at Mosquito Creek. Um, I'm about 58 miles in for the day um, of about 90 I think. So getting there. Okay, getting close to Bow Summit, the big last climb of the day. Whew. Made it to the top of Bow Summit. This is the, the highest point for today. Five hours, 15 riding so far. We're about 68 miles in. Woo! Thankfully the sun has stopped beating down, which is nice. Nice job. Oh man. All right. End of day one. Whew. That was a lot of climbing here in, uh, on the 93. Happy to be done. Definitely need some rest because tomorrow is going to be another big day. Time for a much deserved beer. Nice. Okay, guys. Day two. It's gonna be a great day, getting an earlier start so it's cooler. Got about 40 kilometers to the big climb of the day up to the ice fields. Uh, and then hopefully it's just smooth sail into Jasper beyond that. Uh, time to get out there.
little bit chillier out this morning, which is a nice reprieve from the sun of yesterday. All right, at the base of the big climb for the day, we're gonna be climbing pretty high. It's gonna be a steep one. I think this is about 12 or 15 kilometers of straight climbing, so gonna be fun. Thankfully, I'm starting early. So I've come up from out of here, all the way up, big climb here, back down. The road loops around, and now I'm gonna go up this side, all the way around and up. And it's gonna end up way off in the far side of this. The ice fields are all up above here. 250 square kilometers of ice and glacier. Compared to what he's gotta do right here. This is tough going. It's up, up, up. I'm sure this doesn't show the, do it justice at all. But we've taken all the weight off the bike that we can. Break. Yes. Awesome. Uh, oh man. Woo. Great job. Great job. Push. This is a massive climb. I made it, top of the big climb for this second day. Whew. Definitely a big way to start the morning, but loving it out here. Dan. Woo! Wow. Got absolutely drenched. Had to take shelter under a tree and then it was either move or, or freeze. My hands are definitely pretty uh, Oh wow. Pretty chilly. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! I wasn't sure if you got the rain or not. We oh, missed it here. Oh, it was I got coming. The rain. I'm, I don't need a shower now. 
Uh, I bet it felt good though. It was hot. Uh, no, it did not. It was horrifying. <laughs> oh, all right, made it to Jasper. Definitely got hit with some big rain and thunder and lightning and stuff like that, but it's all part of the adventure. Uh, definitely ready for a shower and to get home. So thanks for watching. Stuff like this is exactly why I love living in our area. And yeah, what an amazing trip. It's been a long time in the making, so glad I'm done. Thanks.